Good morning, everybody. This is Kathy, and welcome to Stamping Saturday. So, I picked out uh, my How to Kill a Kit with Style, some ephemera. Okay, so I am showing you the stamps I'm using. That one was from Every Little Thing. This one is from um, Your Own Kind of Wonderful. And this one is from Floral Celebration, the August stamp of the month. So what I am doing, I'm going with this one little photo. And then I'm going to stamp lines across. Now, I do not use a T-square ruler for this. Just because it would be hard for my block to go across the ruler so I am it's kind of like sloppy straight whimsical kind of messy look so I'm stamping across and I seen a layout on Pinterest where I love how they add all this different kind of stamping now, I do boo-boo a couple of times on my layout, and yeah, so it's just going to be all right. <laughs> all right, this one, I'm stamping it in Lagoon. Now, the first stamp I used, um, Smoothie, and I just love all these inks match with the ephemera that I picked out. And the photo is like a bright blue, and I wanted to tone that down a little bit. I also have my Fancy Pants rub-ons from 2005, maybe, and they still rub off. I couldn't believe it. Now, this stamp that I am doing is a flower, and... Now, my third flower that I stamp is kind of down a little bit, but it's all right. And then I put the brad in the middle, crooked. <laughs> so, but it, it's okay. I love the stamping on this layout. See how that one's down a little bit? I was just checking. I wanted to just kind of line the stuff up as best that I could. So this one is a bunch of X's. So when you have all these different um, lines of squigglies, X's, um, throw them on the layout and it makes for a really cute design. So I'm just going to lay down some paper so I don't stamp over on the other side. All right, so now I'm going to get my foam tape out and pop that beach ball up. All right. And then I'm going to pop dot the splash zone. That was perfect. All right. Now I'm going to put host the photo between the two, um, the F's and beautiful. Perfect fit. Okay clean off my block. I'm going to put another squiggly line right above the splash zone. And I'm just trying to see how much I need to ink. Still going to lay my paper down just in case I boo-boo, which I do all the time. All right. Love that. All right. Now... I'm going to get the rest of the ephemera, match them up. 
and these some of these ephemeras are from Bo Bunny. Um, I just kind of pulled them out to go with my photos. I didn't pull my whole summer drawer. All right, right there where my finger is, I'm showing you that I got ink. Must have been on my block. So that's when I decide to get out my paper that I put in my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And I tore, I cut two one and a half inch strips and then I tear one and put one on the left side and then the other half on the right. And I thought maybe I was going to use both of the strips that I cut, but I'll use it on another layout. All right, so that kind of ties in with all the stamping, all these beautiful colors. I like that look. And for my title on the bottom, I'm just going to go with this family, and that is from Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean Soup. And here's the red buttons. Now... We will see how it works, and they just rub off like butter, and they are so old that, yeah, I, I really am impressed that, that these rub off still. All right, now I'm trying to look to see if I want to put something over there, but I decide not to. All right. I'm using my doodle bug uh, rub on tool. Yeah, these just rub off really nice. I was so impressed. So pretty. And that color ties in with the stamping and the paper. I do end up do I fix that? Kind of looks crooked. I think I, maybe I already pulled it up and tried to make it look not so crooked. But I go ahead and I glue the family down. forgot my eye. I'm always forgetting the eyes. All right, so now I'm going to put this little banner up at the top. It says summer. Now I'm going to pull out three brads to go in the middle of the flowers and a couple of other brads to go on the lagoon squiggly lines just to add a little something different to my layout <clears throat> and this is where I have another boo-boo and I didn't punch the hole in the center of that orange flower so it's kind of off but it's okay. And there you can see that it's just not quite. It just makes that flower hang off by itself. <laughs> <clears throat> then I'm going to grab some washi tape and tape over my brands. All right, and then I decide to bring in two brads on top of that squiggly line on the lagoon. <clears throat> but first, I'm going to add this peach color one summer day on top of the beach ball. Glue that on, and then is when I get the brads back out. So I pull out two of them. One's like the reddish color and the other one's the stripe. And I make the stripes go the same way my paper is. 
that kind of ties in with the beach ball and the stripes on the side. This was a really fun layout to do for my stamping and I don't normally get out so many stamps but I was just having so much fun working with this line. So I hope you enjoyed this video and get lots of inspiration to use your stamps and I will see you in a couple weeks with my next stamp on Saturday. Bye bye.